let us understand XPS that is X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy in this session. XPS stands for X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. It is one of the standard tools used for surface material characterization. This X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy works on the principle of photoelectric effect. This X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy can identify the elements that exist within the material. That means this XPS can be used to find out the elemental composition of the sample. It is a surface sensitive technique which typically analyzes the sample to a depth of around 5 nanometers. As the X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy is based on photoelectric effect, let us first try to understand this photoelectric effect. As you can see here, in a photoelectric effect, when electromagnetic radiation such as X-rays is made incident on the sample surface, they penetrate into the atoms of the sample surface. The core electrons of the atom absorb the X-ray photon energy and if the incident photon energy is high enough then these core electrons are knocked off the atom. These ejected electrons are called as the photoelectrons. So you can see the energy is absorbed and the electron is knocked off. This electron is called as the photoelectron. The kinetic energy of the ejected electron is the characteristic of the atom from which these electrons are coming out. Therefore, by measuring the kinetic energy of these electrons, we can identify the atom. We can also identify from which orbit the electron is coming out. This is a schematic of X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Here you can see a sample holder on which the sample is kept. X-rays coming out of X-ray tube are made incident on the sample surface. These X-rays penetrate into the atoms of the sample surface. When they penetrate into the atoms of the sample surface, the core electrons of the atom absorb the X-ray photon energy. And if this incident photon energy is high enough, then these electrons are knocked off the atom. These ejected electrons are collected here. Their energies are measured with the help of electron energy analyzer and their number is counted with the help of this electron detector. This information is provided to the computing system and then it plots the graph of count of electron versus the energy. This graph of count of electrons versus energy or intensity of electrons versus energy is called as XPS spectra. With the help of this XPS spectra, we can identify the elements present on the sample surface. Let us now try to understand the XPS spectra obtained with X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. This XPS spectra is nothing but the graph of intensity of electrons that is count of electrons versus kinetic energy of electrons. This kinetic energy of the electrons can be measured with the help of electron energy analyzer. Now you can see in this graph the kinetic energy increases as we move from left to right. If this kinetic energy is converted into binding energy with the help of this relation H nu is equal to binding energy plus kinetic energy plus phi where H nu is energy of the incident photon and this phi is the work function that is the energy required to knock off the electron from the atom. K is kinetic energy and B is binding energy. So if you convert kinetic energy into binding energy, binding energy will be equal to H nu minus kinetic energy plus work function and therefore lower the kinetic energy from this relation we can note lower the kinetic energy means higher is the binding energy and higher is the kinetic energy that means lower is the binding energy therefore if you plot the graph of count of electron versus binding energy then 
बाइंडिंग एनर्जी विल डिक्रीज एज वी मूव फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट नाउ द बाइंडिंग एनर्जी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूविंग इन अ पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्बिट ऑफ एटम्स ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर एलिमेंट आर ऑलरेडी नोन टू एस एंड दिस ग्राफ ऑल्सो गिवस एस बाइंडिंग एनर्जी ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस बाइंडिंग एनर्जीज आर इंडिकेटेड बाई दिस पीक्स सो द बाइंडिंग एनर्जीज इंडिकेटेड बाई दिस पीक्स वी कैन कंपेयर विद द नोन बाइंडिंग एनर्जीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स मूविंग इन पर्टिक्युलर ऑर्बिट ऑफ एन एटम ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर एलिमेंट एंड बाय कंपेरिंग दिस बाइंडिंग एनर्जीज which are already known to us with the binding energies obtained from this graph we can identify the atoms of which element are present onto the sample surface so this is how we can identify with the help of x ray photoelectron spectroscopy atoms of which elements are present onto the sample surface so this was a brief introduction to x ray photoelectron spectroscopy we have understood now how x ray photoelectron spectroscopy can be used to identify the atoms of which elements are present on the sample surface i hope you must have liked this session if you like this session then please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thank you